Yo, what's up YouTube? So a lot of stuff has happened in my life. Uh, that's why I wasn't been able to bring out the vlog. But today we will be training chest. We'll be talking inside and I'm switching up my routine again. Cut is almost an end. So without further ado, let's go. All right, <coughs> today we're starting with the incline dumbbell press. I want to focus more on my upper chest and less on the middle part of the chest. No running, warming up sets already, so let's do the real work already. Gonna be going heavier and heavier every training session from now on. I'm tired of being weak as hell. Yesterday I had someone help me with the 36 on my shoulder press again. So we got to work the, all of that up again. The endless routine of Getting stronger, weaker, 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 stronger, stronger, stronger. So we got to keep doing that. But yeah, a lot have happened. Got friend zoned. I realized that I was pushing people away too much. So now it's kind of a lonely life, but and stop crying about it or I go and start doing something about it wasn't good enough for the kind of people that I want so why crying let's work to get them back and to be good enough for the kind of woman you want don't have much to say about it because it's all my own fault Set up the more presses to for the incline. Uh, so we're going to do some back flies now. Normally I do them after the presses, but like I told you guys, I'm switching up my routines. So switching up my morning routines, my daily routines now. The uh, school is starting again. I don't have the luxury to wake up late anymore. To go to bed too late. So let's 
sucks, but good thing that I can do about that. I actually knew already that I need to level up my lifestyle a bit. And I need to work a little bit harder for the things I want. So my my routine is going to be waking up, going to the gym, getting my first 30 minutes of cardio after the gym when I'm going to walk, then breakfast, and then all of this fasted. And I think it's some days it's going to be straight to school. Other days I'm going to be spending on reading. And then of course school. When I'm back home studying some language. And in between my breaks at school I'm going to try to edit some vlogs, <laughs> make some videos. And then at after the studying at home my last cardio session and then just going to sleep and do it all over again I think that's a productive day and maybe start a brand of my own in the future that routine I also know that I'm going to lose a lot of free time and that I'm going to push away a lot more people than I'm doing now already so I need to be careful about that because my little sister we lost something not something someone important last year that made me start this journey And that happened because she was all alone too. And now my little sister is a little bit scared that I'm going on the same boat. Because I'm not that social. I'm not talking with a lot of people. But the difference is I'm choosing for that because I got some more meat to get. but it's enough life story so I am not a heavy chest fly guy I hate to do this exercise with a lot of weight I don't feel the contraction as well I like to lower my weight a bit so I don't need to ego lift on this one with too much weight I'm doing them like this I'm a big guy, so I, I like to go in for the hack, to say at least. It's a lot more doable like that, and I'm feeling stretched a lot better than when you do them like this, like some guys. stretch really well but you also need to remember to get your elbows at some, some way together and that can be hard sometimes I think it's actually the first time I'm using the machine while vlogging you know I think it's maybe for the best that I come this early in the morning then but the plan is to get 15 reps for both sets. It should be possible. I 
stond ik ook, dus toen had je niet op de reis zat. Dus. Positive point on doing a lot of reps is you get your chest pump quicker. But it's more draining than doing like six sets. Reps, not sets. But it's actually weird if you think about it that uh, almost no people here in the morning. Like, it's, you start your morning early so you can work in the morning. When you work in the morning, you got a lot of time in your day. And when you take the free time in the evening, right before you go to bed, you have some better sleep because you're tired. What most people do is they wake up way too late, they do nothing all day, then go binge watch something in the evening till 12 pm or something and then they can't sleep. You understand the difference there? I'm actually dead in the evening and I want to go to sleep so I need to force myself to stay up a little bit later or I'm waking up at 4 am. The difference because I stopped gaming, I stopped eating unhealthy. So I'm actually like a lot of people say, a whole different person. We started thanks to some woman. It's been a hell of a journey for me. I was always the fat kid until I got skinny. But with comfort, I got fat again. And then thanks to Corona, I got even fat. And the woman. They got me back on the path that I wanted to follow, so I actually can't hate them. Some part of me wants to hate, hate them, because one left me alone and then took her life, and the other ransomed me. But a lot of young guys in this generation start crying about it when they get ransomed. I actually give, give, yeah, give them a chance to be friends. I mean, if you stop now, it will never be something. But if you keep changing, maybe in the future something will happen. But that can be your main priority. Your main priority should be, okay, that's the kind of woman I want. What kind of man do I need to be to get that kind of woman? And at this point, I'm not a kind of man that woman like that wants. I like to have some high valuable women that do a lot of their time. They are caring, they are caring for their family. They are feminine, that's all what I want. So what do I need to be? More masculine. more masculine to the things the dark current friends did 
it's actually just becoming mentally and physically a man. We got three times less testosterone than our great grandparents did. If you think about it, that isn't what you want. So, yeah. The way to do that is to fix your life, get a healthier lifestyle, start working more, and don't be like all of the people in our generation almost. You need to be different. And I mean, a lot different. Because I'm not perfect at the moment. And I'm never going to be perfect because perfect is something that you will never achieve in life. But you can always strive to be a better person in life. And that's my goal. Always be a human piece of garbage. But for real, you didn't care about people. You didn't care if people died or whatever. And I'm not more anymore like that. I'm actually starting to care about people a lot more again. And I know some of you are going to say that then you get hurt. I'm open to get hurt. Because I know I am stronger than that little tiny feeling you get from that. At this point I just want to give the world my best self. The best gift. I can give the world is being my manly self and that's the way of living that I'm going to follow from now on. I don't have time to be sad or depressed or just angry all the time. I want to be happy and happy that's in your mind because you about things that are maybe going to happen you're losing the vision of yourself now okay I'm maybe I'm a little bit too how do you call it going too deep but I'm starting to read some books on stoicism and I can find myself in the philosophy of those people Size is going to be some flies again. You may think I'm doing way too much flies. But to grow a muscle, you need to stretch the muscle. And flies are the best way to give your chest a stretch. Because if you go far enough like this, the stretch is a lot better than when you do a chest press. That's why I'm not benching anymore. Because benching isn't a good muscle building exercise. Because I'm going to show you. When you bench, you actually put the bar and you stop here with the fly. You stop here, you see, it's a big difference. Benching is more like an ego exercise to boost your self-esteem because people come to you and ask, oh, how much do you bench? And then you want to tell other people a big number to feel good. I'm working different than that. I'm not going to say I bench 100, 105. I'm just going to say I don't bench. And I think in the long run it's going to be a lot better for me to just don't to say don't bench. 
because if you actually want to banish, you need a bar that's specially designed to build up some muscle. Now we don't have that here, so until then you won't ever see me bench. I don't do high numbers on the bench. My PR was 105 kilograms. And that isn't impressive is it? because I see young guys bench 130, 140. that gives me my exercises but most of the time I don't listen because he gives the exercise that he wants to do and most of the time I actually don't want to do them. Do you understand the difference there? And when you need to do stuff that I don't want to do, you actually just don't want to do. some point yeah, I really want to go big in this it's a must but it's not now I'm still at the starting zone of this journey and I'm learning everything I can from him so that's the difference between me and all the people of people that he goes to big to listen to others. But I'm a rookie, so I'm living with the mindset of I'm a rookie in everything and there's always someone better than me or I can learn stuff from. And that's the difference. I'm good at nothing. And I'm okay with that. That's the mindset that my last school teacher, yeah, my teacher from last year learned me. You need to be open for everything to learn and get somewhere. Next exercise is going to be the cross fly. Actually, haven't done them since I think the first week I got back from Japan. helps with this exercise a lot is when you at your when you are laying down you try to close down you activate your chest just a little bit better and it makes exercise also like double as hard you will understand what I mean if you try it yourself once are the little tricks in every exercise that are gonna learn you to make it or just break it and you're wasting a lot of time if you do your exercises just not try it oh just imagine you do this for four years with a shitty form or two years with perfect form 
I actually believe that if you do the exercise with the perfect form for two years, you get the progress that a guy from four years gets. Because you're stretching the muscle way harder. You're tearing it that much more down, so okay, you can go ego to the max and just get everything. It's also a way, but when are you ever going to get that hard in your exercise? Alright, so welcome on my little morning walk and a lot of people will be thinking so you go to the gym why not just do your cardio on the treadmill well I have multiple reasons for that first I like to do my cardio outside I like to get a view when I'm doing something so this is where I'm doing it as you can see, it's nature, and nature is a lot more uh, healing for my mind. It makes me think less, and I'm just in my zone here. I try to be here and not in my mind. That's the big difference about it. But there's there are a lot of reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, when we go back to pre-Japan, I didn't do any cardio anymore. And in Japan, I already told it multiple times at the moment, I started to do my cardio back again. And it heals my mind to go outside and just think freely and to be a little bit more active. There are people here and he has a tree so and my plan now is to get my morning walk in every day and then before I go to bed I'm doing my big round because my daily goal is 10,000 steps. 10,000 steps is the minimum I want. And if I get some extra steps, then it is what it is. But 10,000 is the minimum. Uh, I had some problems with my heart in the past because I had a caffeine addiction. And because I want to live longer than my 30s. I need to start working on getting a proper cardiovascular system. I've always played basketball, but that's another way of doing your cardio. And it wasn't doable anymore for me. So the routine plan is going to be every day after the gym, a little walk. Before I go to bed, a little walk. And if I don't have my 10,000 steps at the end of my uh, last walk, afternoon walk or whatever you want to call it, then I'm just going to walk again. And walking did something else important for me. My lifts are improving. I'm feeling a lot more energized every day. So I think I'm actually happy I started doing this. Because my friend, uh, we call him Bartje, but it's not his real name, uh, he kind of taught me to go outside and walk a little bit. I've been on some trips with him already and sometimes even walking is hard when you're climbing up a mountain. But it's just the mindset I'm learning again. 
want to be healthy, I want to get my mind straight, and I want to achieve the goals that I give myself. And like this, I'm starting my day just perfect. So I'm going to end the vlog here so I can enjoy my view a little bit more. And I'll see you guys later this week.